So this is What to the Dissident is the 4th of July. This is from the Libertarian Institute. Um, this is an excerpt. And again, I, I, I encourage you, if you're looking at this video on YouTube as a standalone or if you're watching this show, go to iState TV, iState.tv forward slash 40000. And you can get a link to read the whole article here. The freedom Jefferson called for was not universal. It was politically motivated and specific. Jefferson did not intend for someone like Frederick Douglass, that's right, Frederick Douglass, a slave turned abolitionist leader to be blessed with the same liberties as Jefferson declared for himself and his fellow Virginians in the preceding decades. Douglas, the, the well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to skip forward here. There, The so-called empire of liberty that Jefferson assisted in establishing in America more than two centuries ago has grown to become the gravest threat to its citizens and to the people it often subjugates around the world. See, that's, that's the hard fact that you, uh, you folks don't want to face on this day. Even though he argued that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the government, that whenever any form of government becomes, well, that's any form of government is always going to become destructive. To these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. Dude, he's calling for a revolution, but not, not right now, folks, because right now we got to wave the, the flag of, we got to wear the flag of our oppressors. We got to wave the flag of our oppressors and to institute new government. Uh, let's not do that again. Laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them, so shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. And uh, this, uh, this dude goes on to write, the freedom Jefferson called for was not universal. It was politically motivated and specific. Jefferson absolutely did not intend, did not intend on someone like Frederick Douglass being free as, as we, as we uh, started. So, 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 so Douglass had this to say, Frederick Douglass said this, would you have me argue that man is entitled to liberty that he is the rightful owner of his own body dare you say that you have already declared it must i argue the wrongfulness of slavery is that a question for republicans is it to be settled by the rules of logic and argumentation as a matter beset with great difficulty involving a doubtful application of the principle of justice hard to be understood how should i look today in the presence of americans dividing and subdividing a discourse to show that men have a natural right to freedom Speaking of it relatively and positively, negatively and affirmatively, to do so would be to make myself ridiculous and to offer an insult to your understanding. There is not a man beneath the canopy of heaven that does not know that slavery is wrong for him. Now, that 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 could easily, absolutely. If if somebody told me that was written today, it it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a surprise. I understand that there's a difference between, uh, I guess you call it chattel slavery, more direct slavery, and the type of, uh, the 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 softer, kinder, gentler slavery that that we face today. But that sentence, <laughs> that sentence is that 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 paragraph that what what, what Douglas said is it's still being lived out today. In our courts. It's being lived out in our neighborhoods. It's being lived out when a man dares put something on Facebook that challenges the, the 
godlike status of the police and the kind of backlash that he gets with that. It's vicious. It's, it's, it's literally life-threatening. And yet, people persist in creating codes, laws, regulations that actually put to debate this very notion to, to somehow split hairs and define slavery in a different way. To, to actually imagine that you can still have a debate over, well, well who, who, who really owns you? Do you own yourself? Really? You know, you, you do things that affect people around you, even, even if it's not direct. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, if you fart into the wind, you could possibly affect people. In, in negative ways, you never know, you know, butterfly effect, you know, you fart over here and, you know, there's a, a homicidal uh, uh, killing spree happening in Detroit. You never know. So, so knowing that, knowing how everything is interconnected, do you really think that you own yourself? That's essentially where we're at. That's essentially the argument that's being made every day. In the name of these uh, untraceable, unknowable consequences of actions that do not directly harm others. We should be able to enslave people, but we're not going to call it slavery. We're going to call it something else. So this, 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 uh, this article continues here. We're not obligated to carry around the baggage of the founding fathers, nor honor them out of a sense of tradition or heritage or blind nationalism. My lineage is separate and distinct from Jefferson and his contemporaries, and I know now that many of my friends and family would have been part of the disfavored minority of the time, just as we are today, although under different circumstances. This Independence Day, he continues to write here, instead of offering effusive praise for Jefferson and the Founding Fathers for laying the foundation of the modern American empire, I would like to honor those individuals who keep the spirit of 76 alive, many of whom I call friends, these dissidents who undermine and resist the state daily, truly seek independence and liberty in 2017 and beyond. And I, I, I want to I make sure I got the name here. I thought I had his name written here. I want to make sure that I credit the dude that wrote this article here. But while I'm doing that, let, let me just say that on this day, to me, this is a work day. I made it a work day. I did so intentionally. On this day, in, in any way that you can to your friends, your family, the neighbors, whatever opportunities that you have, just... Just introduce just a little bit of the reality of the world that they live in. That that I, I I'm I'm not suggesting that America is the most horrible nation in the world. I, I I don't I don't know how I mean what do you add up body counts? Is that how you determine who's the worst nation in the world? I don't know. But but I will say it's not the land of the free, it's not the home of the brave. If 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 your life is is living in a tiny box in which you you really don't you don't you don't care to to wander out all that much there's not a lot of things that you want to do with your life you don't really have a lot of strong opinions you could go through life feeling like you're free you could be in china actually and experience the same thing that you could experience in america uh, but 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 if you have any boldness about you if you have any vision about you if you have any any dreams of 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 being a a a world builder of of even if you if you just have a dream of 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 being as as much as is humanly possible within the restrictions of nature around us of of just being a self determiner then you feel it you feel it every day you know that there are things that you cannot do without facing dire consequences from i mean not not just state coercive action but 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 societal coercive action that you know that 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 people live in a reality that they believe that they have permission to create a category of subhuman for anyone who questions the sanctity and the authority 
and the majesty of their God, the state. And I think on that end, we're, we're going to end the show. Oh, oh, I want to make sure I credit here. The writer here is Jared LaBelle. Jared, it's an excellent article. And again, go to iState TV forward slash zero, zero, zero. That's four zeros. And you can read, uh, you'll get a link to the article and you can read the article in full. <laughs> 